Listen, when it comes to watching sports, when it comes to betting sports, there are two ways you could go about it. You could do it the Eagles analytic department way, where they're in a basement in a cold, dark room somewhere, crunching numbers that they don't even know what it means. Or you could do it the Philly 500 way, where you're constantly entertained and enjoy every moment of the process. This is why... I start my day by going to thegameday.com where they add excitement to live sports with a constant influx of sports entertainment and sports betting content, which includes best bets, picks, previews, predictions, you know I love predictions, the ride-along series, and much more. The game day makes betting entertaining as well as watching sports in general, and they use their partnership with major sports book operators to bring consumers competitive promotions. So click the link in the description and go to thegameday.com, check it out for yourself. I promise you, you are going to love everything here, and you are going to be entertained, and you are going to get the knowledge you need to make the bets that you need to make and let them know when you're there philly 500 sent you sunny joey five double low got some goats in the get place. ready for a shakedown prepare for a shakedown we from philly where they clap like huddles when they break down get ready for a shakedown we underdogs my guy kind of used to all the hate now Prepare for a man, y'all get it. My QB got swag, my wideout is award winning. This fly goes fly. Joey and 5 double O. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Here's a quote you can sing back. Shake squad up. And don't be a ding back. It's a shakedown. Don't you frown. It's Get some food cake down. Let's go. You're my doing. Kick dig back here. Welcome to another Philly Shakedown podcast. Episode X, because I can't remember what episode we're on. Two dingbats don't know what the hell episode we're on. Joey Shakes, what's happening? Not much, man. A few more weeks. It's already in almost in draft month already. It's going to come really hard. Huge pause. But I got to say, it's it, yeah, it's get. we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. Sorry we're a little bit late. I thought we were going to be on time today. And Joey's like, you haven't sent me the link. You haven't sent me the link. And so I go on Twitter and somebody, I noticed I sent it to the wrong person. Shout out to whoever I sent it to. I apologize for that. And they wrote back, you sent me a link. I'm like, whoops, sorry. So then I had to send it to Joey. I thought he fell asleep again, but no, no. He, it was my fault, of course. It yeah. was my fault, of course. Mm. So we we got, we got quite a few things to talk about here. Mm. And we're going to get into some things today. And some of it, eh, some of it, some people may not like what I'm going to say. Um, but what else is new, I guess, really? Right? Yeah, it's the same thing every day. <laughs> I mean, it happens. But um, first thing is, I thought one of the biggest things that happened this week was the return mm. of the Kelly Green. I wanted to get your thoughts on this. No, it's been a long time coming, especially having like two alternate uniforms now. Not only we're getting the Kelly Green, but we're getting black helmets on top of it, which I don't right. know if we have an actual, I don't think we've seen it yet. So, I mean, we have to wait no. another year. So, you know what? I I mean, for the Kelly Green stuff, but I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, something different. So I bet you're excited. Well, you've been, you've been hyping this. You've been wanting this for so dude, long. I used to, I dedicate two videos every six months, two videos a year to, to Kelly Green videos and i haven't bought any midnight green stuff or anything except for kelly green old throwback stuff since um but you know how uh, jeffrey Lurie said that he, he mentioned it's going to be the randall cunningham reggie white groom brown that's what i like now let me ask you this maybe you heard because people don't believe me they think i'm crazy this logo here okay the yeah. the you People don't realize there's an E right here. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. That yeah. E, that is an E that goes on the logo. It's dumb. I, I hate it. But it's the one reason why it's one of the few logos that are reversed compared to all the other ones. Right. You know? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. And what is going on, everybody? Let's say Robert Jones is here. Happy Dog, Noby King, Tortyville. I Love Weed is here smoking some weed, I'm sure. Eagles has landed. Steve H., Pistol Pete, Philly Swag, and if I miss you, I'm sorry, like Jolo, Mag, oh man, just everybody here, D-Heart, a lot of people in here, thank you for being here, um, but yeah, people don't believe me that that's an actual E, 
Like that yeah. is supposed to be there. It's supposed to be an eagle with an E. I think it's the dumbest thing. This has to come, dude. That yeah, that's what I want. Happen. That's what I want. Yeah, that's the greatest. To me, that's the greatest logo of all sports. Mm. Like I, I love it. I love it. Um. So yeah. So the Eagles going back to Kelly Green. Obviously, I, I love it. I mean, it, it's it's so far probably the highlight of my off season. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I, I told people this in my last video. I was my April Fool's joke was going to be a video about the Eagles re-signing Derek Barnett if he hadn't signed with anybody else, but they really signed him. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. the fo April Fool's was on me, dude. I I hate Twitter on April Fool's. By the way, yeah. <laughs> I totally it's forgot. The worst thing. I forgot. You know, I hate it. Uh, JC says that E is cool. I Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, no, no. But, I mean, I don't see the E anymore. When the first logo came out, that's all I saw. But now now I see the bird more. But, I, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, today we had, we had a trade, Joey. Devontae Parker goes to the New England Patriots. Um, what are your thoughts on, on the trade? So a third, I think, a th I think the pick. Yes, go ahead. You can sit. With, with so me. a third round pick goes to so the so the Patriots give up a third round pick and they got a fifth in return from the Dolphins. A third round pick for Devontae Parker that has not been healthy since 2019, but over 1,100 yards. No wonder how he stayed away from this. So I don't know if this was like because they were in the same division and they had to kind of boost up the price, or is it because like you know since he was going to come in so cheap, eight and a half million dollars this year, nine million next year, that they mm -hmm. pretty much pulled the trigger and said we need to. I know the Patriots have been really trying to trade for a receiver this whole entire offseason. So a third round pick, <laughs> like we, yeah, we, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And and Brock says I love your videos of content. You're so fucking funny. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I mean, me and you talked about it. I, we both were not big on getting Devontae Parker. I didn't want a guy who I have to worry about being injured the whole time he's here. It just gives me flashbacks of getting Deshaun Jackson, remember? Um, yeah. and it's funny because you can do videos on this, and I still get people in my comments. Ha, 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 you didn't get Devontae Parker. I know you're so pissed. I'm like, what video? When I do a video, do, do does it sound like I'm barking? Rough, 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 mother humper. I don't, I don't know. Like, I didn't want Parker. Yeah. I want something better than Parker. I, I, I have my eyes set high. I have the, the was it the Calvin Zacharias? Man. <laughs> That's true. Cry hot. The high hopes. You know, I, 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 I think, I, I, I think, I think there's got to be something something to this dude there's got to be something going on because uh they didn't even they, they didn't really seriously try to get Devontae parker I, you know i think what's annoying me the most is that they're they're interested in every receiver then they just they just back away after almost everybody in free agency when it comes they, to they only they're only interested if it's a deal if they're getting a bargain right now <laughs> right that's it jc says dude the fact that eagles didn't jump up parker Trade makes me think they have bigger plans like A.J. Brown. I kind of agree with him, dude. And I've been saying, I think something's up, dude. You know, I, I do. You know, Drew says, is the Kelly Green permanent or just an alternate uni? It's an alternate uni, so it's going to be maybe once or twice a year. Yeah. Now, what the Eagles are petitioning for is two alternates. So they want to do a Kelly Green and the black. And I think that that's probably what's going to end up happening, which is cool. I, we don't know what the black helmet's going to look like, but I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited. <clears throat> you know, so it's 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 going to be interesting. Swaff says the Eagles are getting picket. That's interesting. How do you um, how do you I, feel now? Like, how do you feel about now? Like, since after these two press conferences in Florida the past you know few days ago, and you still I, 50 -50? I, 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 I'm still fifty fifty on a quarterback. I, yeah. I think I'm eighty five percent. That within the next two years they will draft the quarterback in the yeah. next dress. I'm 50 50 this one because I, I have a hard time. See, here's my thing. And this is what I'm struggling with all week. Okay. You, they could say, well, we believe in Jalen Hurts. We believe that he's the guy. We believe in, but they give him no help. How can you believe in this guy and give him no help? I, th that I, I can't, um, I can't, I can't rectify that. You know what I mean? I, I can't. I, I just don't understand yeah. 
How, if you really believe in him, why wouldn't you give him help right now? Like, and 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 I got to say this: I don't think drafting a wide receiver in the first round is necessarily enough help because you don't know how that receiver is going to play. Not everybody's going to be Jamar Chase or Justin Jefferson. How many snaps can a guy really get as a rookie? Most likely. So, to me. I feel like they have to – if they really believe in him, they have to have something up their sleeve. Yeah, I mean, they I mean, they, they passed on every proven guy from free agency. So if we're looking for a trade, we've obviously heard about A.J. Brown. Jalen Hurts and him have been talking a little bit, which I actually found out that when Hurts was in Alabama, he tried to acquire him uh, to get to Alabama. And apparently they're best friends till this day. So they've been in a lot yeah. of talks together. So Yeah, I, I talked a little bit about that in my video, and I said that, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't putting much stock in it. But I had so many people DM me wanting to talk about it. Um, you know, so I, I, I think A.J. Brown, I mean, I, I can't see Tennessee Titans trading him, you know, but if they do, I mean, you should you should be given a first round pick right away for him, in my yeah. opinion. Uh, oh, yeah. I still think D, I mean, I think D.K. is the play because there's actual legitimate uh, discussions about him getting moved. Yeah. You know, you take you take uh, the Jets have been looking for a wide receiver badly. And they look at, they've been looking at DK Metcalf. They've been looking at Debo Sam. Like they're trying to make some big trade happen, but nothing. They, yeah. you know, they tried to get Tyra kill. It didn't happen. So they're still looking. So because we're not showing our hand right now and what we're doing, you got to look at other teams of what they think is available out there. And I saw those three names. I said, maybe they are available. Maybe DK is available. But from the Eagles side of things, we're not seeing that. But from other teams, we are so. Yeah, no. It says, "Why do they believe in Rager, not Jalen?" It's simply because um, they Rager was a first round pick that was picked ahead of Jefferson. It's like a, how he can't accept failure in that, so he's going to hold on longer. You know, uh, that's why I think. Yeah, I, no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Daz deals, my man says, "How he is wanting to find franchise quarterback? Why waste capital until you find it?" Well, that, but that's 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 what I'm saying. That's my only logical conclusion, is that that must be what they're doing because I can't I can't understand it otherwise. You know? Uh, do you guys think Hamilton falls to around ten? We trade up for him, or they stay at fifteen and draft the best player available? Uh, dude, well, you know that's interesting. It's a good segue because I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, Thibodeau. Mm. I, I always probably say his name wrong, but you know what I mean. Brock says it's not Jalen's fault. He's a beast. He's quick and shifty. Gives. No, I, I I agree. Give him time or give him help, rather. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. But Thibodeau, there's some reports that he could drop. Did you hear the about these these things? Uh, reports saying he could possibly drop. One was that don't be surprised if he's there at 15. I mean, did you hear this? I heard he's dropping because of character issues. I'm hearing it's character and it's effort. So, I mean, that's what I'm hearing right now. But I think Michael Parsons was almost the same thing. We were hearing stuff with him about that as well. So, I don't know how much how much there's truth into it, but that's what I heard so far. Yeah. Yeah. No hate, Eagle fans, but y'all will get nowhere with Hurts. Just my opinion. No, you could be right. You could totally be right, and the Eagles wrong. could could and the Eagles could be agreeing with you. You know that that's my whole point is is if if they truly believe that he's the guy or really want to see it, give him a chance, then get him get him some help. You, there's not enough help right now. What's where is the help offensively? I, and we're going to put a pressure on a first round rookie wide receiver to come in and be that changer. I think that's very hard to imagine that that'll happen. But Philly, even if you get one of those guys, like the one of those quarterbacks, I mean, he's not going to start. He's going to sit behind Hertz for. I mean, I mean, either either there's one of three things: either they they trade Hertz, or they right. they let this guy come in and be the starter, or they do something with Gardner Minshew and get him out of here. I, I don't know what they're doing. I mean. <laughs> I, I mean, I, right now, it, it, you know, until I hear that they privately worked out with a quarterback, I, I can't really put a think that they're going to draft a quarterback. It looks like they're going to draft a quarterback next year. Okay, yeah. but what I'm saying is, is, is how do you, you how do you go into next season and say we're going to give Jalen Hurts a fair, proper evaluation and not do anything to improve an offense when you already know where the weaknesses are. Like, I, how do they rectify that? And then say, I, well, what, we drafted Traylon Burks in the first round or whoever, and 
Um, we're going to expect him to go be a thousand yard wide receiver. That's ridiculous. If that's what they think. That that's what they think. I think part of it is that they because this wide receiver class is deep, you know, deep to the second round. I, I mean, it, there's nothing promising. Like the whole draft is a gamble. You don't know who's just gonna like you said, like a Jamar Chase coming out of the draft. You don't know. I mean, if you look at this draft to see like certain players, like I feel like they'll go after a Jameson Williams coming off an ACL because he's dropping in the draft a little bit. I feel like they'll go after one of those players coming off injury because that's what they like to do. One of those picks will be a guy coming off injury. There's no doubt about it. It could happen. Yeah, I, I, I mean, could I? I just, I just think you got to give Hertz a better. I, I just think you got to give him a fair chance to succeed than than what they're doing. I'm telling you guys right now, the Eagles are going to wait until draft night to see what players slide. Then, based on that, trades will follow. I, I think so too, Ali. I think if the DK Metcalf trade comes, which I'm praying, it's coming draft night. It's got it's going to be draft night. I'm telling you, it has to. Like something has to give, Joey. Something has to give to me in order for me to, you know. And and like I, you know, let me just say this to those listening: I am not saying Hertz isn't the guy. I am not saying all these things. I'm only reacting to the actions of the front right. office so far. I'm trying to figure out how they're thinking about this whole thing. You know? I mean, adding 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 Pascal is just not enough. It's not enough. It was a friendly deal. Nick has worked well when he's the offensive corner when he was calling the plays with the Colts. I mean, it's just not enough. Our number three to number four receiver just it makes no sense yeah. that that could be the yeah. only move. Taylor Walker Devine says Kayvon and Hamilton will not drop. Laugh out loud. If they are, they're taken. But Jordan Davis, Lloyd, Dean, Linderbaum are more likely. Well, I, I think you could crash cross Lloyd or Dean off the list. Eagles do not draft linebackers in the first round. I can't no, see it happening. Yeah. Now with Kaiser White here, no. You know, but here's the thing with Kayvon Thibodeau. I, I think he's somebody you have to watch because, one, the Giants are interested in him, right? A lot of Giant fans are pushing for him. And I could see the Eagles trading up for him. I, I, hmm. I'm just going to be honest. I could totally see a situation where that happens. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I – I, no, go ahead. You're good. No, no, you go ahead. What were you gonna say? Um, I could see even with that pick with the Giants have. I th I feel like they can go after Thibodeau. I think they can go after Sauce as well. I think Sauce could be a big, a big pick for them too. So I wouldn't put it past them at all. No, they they're gonna make they're going to make a move that nobody expects. Uh, in, in this draft, I I really believe that, dude. I I do. Banana says, "Hey Phil, you remember me?" Um. The name sounds somewhat familiar, but I mean, I see so many names; it, it's hard to know. So I hope don't don't get offended, you know. But um, Tyler says, Joey, would you trade Minshew for a second or was set for a second to take Ojabo? I'm not on the boat for taking Ojabo in the second. I mean, to the third, maybe. I mean, it's it's really tough because I don't know what they're doing in the first round. If Ojabo is there in the second, I might I might actually take him. Maybe it depends what we do in the first round. But Minshew, I don't know. You need a reliable backup. Plus, he's cheap. He's only nine hundred thousand. You know, a little over nine hundred thousand bucks. So, I mean, at this point, you just I think they got to keep him on the roster this year if they can't get right. rid of him. We got over three hundred people in the chat. Let me say thank you for being here. Make sure you guys like subscribe click the link in the description and go sub up my man joey shakes you don't want to miss it. it's going to get crazy it's going to be a crazy month draft wise there's going to be a lot mm -hmm. of crazy things going on and me and joey will be streaming the whole entire draft on both channels so you're it's going to be a philly shakedown uh hopefully not a meltdown epic epic, hopefully, epic, hopefully not a meltdown. epic stream <laughs> epic weekend yeah, yeah yeah hopefully not a meltdown but i have a feeling something's coming yeah. Like, like they, they, they just can't be this quiet that long. I, I just, I don't believe in it, man. I, I don't believe. Here, here's the other thing I want to go over, and I, and I meant to bring this up, and I don't have it prepared, but I was looking at Hertz's contract. Right, he's got two years left on his deal. In 2022, he's 1.6 million dollars against the cap. Okay, so he's making absolutely nothing. After this year, he is up for a contract extension. And if he doesn't get one in his final year, he would only make $1.9 million. Mm. If you don't extend Hertz, you're probably going to lose him after this year because they're not going to franchise him. So this comes back to my main issue. If you believe in Jalen Hurts and you want to know if he's a guy, then how can you not get him help going into next year? 
when he might you might have to pay him an extension. It's it's a tough year. It's tough because that 2020 season was kind of wasted because he played four. Because theoretically, he's only played a year and a half of football. I mean, that's that's it's. I think I think Hertz is in a real crappy situation with this roster, the cap space. I think it's just in a, he's in a really bad spot with this whole this whole thing right now. I think that's part. I, I it may dude. It makes sense. I mean, I get it. You you see what I'm saying though, right? Yeah. Like I'm just I'm just simply trying to put the pieces to what the plan is, and. And I'm trying to figure it out, and it don't make any sense to me, unless they got something up. See that I lean more towards something's coming, something coming that we're not seeing right now because it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? If I was the Eagles and I'm running the front office, I want to know if Hertz is the guy. I am going to give him help. You know? Yeah. Jim Warren, thank. Uh, he says, "I agree. Howie will do something nobody's ready for. Absolutely, it's 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 it, it has to be something has to be something has to be going on, dude. Yeah. In my opinion, Freeman Freeman Luma, thank you for super chat. He says, Hertz and Gannon, the key to our success. Now, Gannon is interesting because do you think that we're going to see a different us." Uh, type of approach on defense? Do you think we'll see like more blitzing and things now that he has some linebackers to do what he wants to do? I don't think he has any more. I don't think he really think he has an excuse. I think they're going to add more pieces on defense. You got Kaiser White. Right. I mean, you're going to have some for this hybrid 3-4-4-3 three, four, four, three scheme. He better be blitzing more. I mean, he better be. I mean, hopefully we can get this pass rush with a four-man pass rush or however they're going to do right. it, but that's what I'm hoping. Right. Here you go. Just Nate. It must be just Nate Gary. He says, your Eagle fans are delusional. No way in hell you're getting Thibodeau. Listen, if the Eagles want to get Thibodeau, they can get Thibodeau. Uh, who's going to stop them? The Giants? The Eagles got three first-round picks. They've got plenty of ammo to trade up if they really want to. So they can do pretty much whatever they want to do. That's a ridiculous statement. You know? That's why the Eagles, that's what the Eagles do. They didn't give no, well, but they did give uh top they dog. Did. They did give Carson help. They In did. 2016, after his rookie year, they went out, and it may not have been the best help, but really, I think Alshon was still the best receiver in free agency that year. They went and got Alshon, and they got Torrey Smith, and and they did they did make an effort to improve things around him. Why are they not doing the same for Hertz? But but That's the difference the difference of that free agency in 2017 was that you know we got Alshon that one year eight million with a promise of an extension. So that free agency was really cheap for us. That that free agency was dirt cheap. We, I don't know who we gave a big contract to that year because uh, off of free agency, because especially now with what we're, these receivers are getting paid well, now. It's, I mean, they, they signed a lot of guys. But look at this. Let me let me let me let me see if I can find this real quick, right? Because you're talking about. Saving money. If you if you want to do the similar thing with let's say DK Metcalf, right? Where the hell is Seattle? Um, you could you could essentially bring DK Metcalf in one year, right? And then and then sign him to an extension that doesn't kick in until next year. So he's still playing under his contract. This year in, in his last year of his contract, he's making. Sorry, you hear me, Joey? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's stupid Siri clicks on. I don't know. Every time I, I think it thinks it's DK Metcalf, but um, he's making uh, he's making he's four million against the cap this year. He's four point three million against the cap. Right. So in his last year, so why can't you do the same thing with him? Bring him in for this year, sign him to an extension, and then have the extension kick in at, in twenty twenty three. It's it's either what they have to give up or they have no interest whatsoever. But I don't know how they don't. I don't know how they don't have interest in. The, if it's not DK, then it's got to be somebody else. It's got to be somebody. Yeah, Denzel Washington's evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> the dark. Thank side. you for the super chat. I love the thumbnail, by the way. I still don't know where these guys find these pictures of me. I have arrived and looking handsome as ever. You do look quite handsome. I will. I will say that. No doubt about it. So now Devontae Parker's off the board. Now what? Yeah, it's Eagles gang. Another great thumbnail. Um, yeah, he's off the board. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm fine. I, I don't know what's next. You know, <laughs> whatever. I I mean Devontae Parker. I I wasn't that big on. I I, I didn't want him to get in the way of DK Metcalf. I like to me DK Metcalf. It's all in on DK Metcalf. 
Right now, 15th pick. Joey, 15th pick and a mid-round pick in 2023 for DK. Do Done. It. Done. 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 Done deal. I agree. <laughs> it's a I done agree. deal. I agree. No question about it. So, so I, I, I'm leaning towards with the Eagles right now that by the fact that they haven't pulled the trigger really on anything significant, in my opinion, offensively, they have something up their sleeves, dude. And, and I think it's more than just taking a receiver in the first round. Mm. I think they've got something that they're working on. That's just my opinion. Now, let's 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 bring up – Chris Graham brings up the Honey Badger. What are your thoughts on the Eagles going out and getting him? I, I mean, for, for a guy that can play in the box and be a free safety, I, I love the move. Like, I think this would actually make our defense better. Um, you know, I think, you know, there's been a few teams after him already. Now, now I know the Saints, that's that's his hometown. Uh, the Saints did pick up P.J. Williams at safety, so I think maybe they could be out right now. So apparently it's between the Colts, Eagles, maybe a couple other teams, but I've heard that the Eagles are, I think, second in line to get him right now. So um, this might be a, a move that comes down the road probably after the draft. I don't know if it's going to be now, just like how we kind of waited for a cornerback last year. That probably could happen this year as well, so you never know. But this could be a move after the draft. So I think I see. I don't know if it's money. I don't know if it's years. I don't know what what you know what he wants. I mean, if they can get him in the building and try to do something with him I, for another like maybe a four year contract or something, I'd be fine with it. I'd be totally fine. Now is is he is he asking? You know what kind of money he's asking for? But no news on it. Nothing. The only thing is there's a lot of teams that are, that are after him. Yeah. You know, a lot of teams. But if, I mean, you know, he's 30 and, and I'd like to stay younger, but I would take a shot on him. I mean, if you if you added him with, with Hassan Reddick and mm. White, I think you would great. You, you, you can say that defense is a lot better, right? I mean, then maybe you can get Steven Nelson or somebody back. Yeah. But you would have to say it, it's, 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 Definitely upgraded, you know. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that's perfect. I think if they get him, it's perfect. I think they they should do it. They should pull the trigger on it. Yeah, I I I, I, they, I, I would love to see it, but we'll, we'll see. Kid from Oregon. Here you go. Kid from Oregon talking about Thibodeau. Yeah, people are saying he's fallen. Mm. I mean, if look, I think I I kind of like Thibodeau a little bit. The more I watch him, I kind of think he's a little bit of a, a beast. I think I would take a chance. Uh, like, I, I if he gets to seven, I'm taking. I'm trading up. Yeah, even I'm Trevon Walker's up. pro day was really good too. He looked really good at his pro day. I think it was today. I think it was earlier today. I mean, he looked yeah. really quick. You really know good. what we need to do on here mm. is the like, like we need to do a special Philly shakedown mock draft special. Yeah, with everybody. We need to do that before the draft, like the week of the draft. Because I'm looking at these mock drafts, dude, and I'm like, the way that they, they got some of these picks, like Trevon Walker going three overall. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. I, I mean, it's like, what? You know, what is going – like, I have no clue how this whole first round is going to go. Mm -hmm. I saw Malik Willis go two, you know? Crazy. Yeah. Shanta, how did we acquire the – um? We get one, one of the first round picks we acquired through Carson Wentz. Then the other one was from getting an extra first to trade back from six to what eleven or 12. twelve last year. So we got another first for that. Um, you know, it's interesting. High tower is Douglas. Quez got lucky getting playing time. We ha would have to cut. No, I don't want to cut Quez. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't. Here's here's Rusky Philly five hundred picture. My main man Daniel says, "Look, load up in picks." Don't use all three picks and trade out and see in three years for Manning <laughs> or Jeez. Quinn. That's a long time to wait. Plus, calling right now, Malik Wills going to the Giants because Giants are weird. You think the Giants – see, I think the Giants are going to go either offensive line or defensive line um, and vice versa with their, first, with their two picks. Yeah, agree. That's where I think they're going to go. But, hey, you never know. George Burwell, man, thank you for the Super Chat. He says – What's going on, Philly and Joey? Thank you. I think you all missed my channel membership chat thing. Oh, my fault, dude. Yeah. I have to go. It, it never shows up on StreamYard. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I got it here, George. Sorry about that. Uh, George, member of two months of Dingbat Super fans. Good time to be in Dingbat Super fans. A lot of, lot of reacts and stuff coming out on there. He says, uh, What's going on, Philly and Joey? I see us taking a defensive tackle with the 15th. 
and either wide receiver or corner was 16th. Uh, two best Eagle YouTube, uh, two best Eagle YouTubers on here. Thank you, man. Sure, man. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for your support. I'm gonna make a guarantee. I, Hold on, I'm gonna make uh -oh. a guarantee right uh -oh. now. Here we go. A guarantee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it on draft day too, first night. Okay. I guarantee you, with 15 or 16, the Eagles are taking Jordan Davis or Devontae White with one of those two picks. Guarantee one of those Georgia defensive tackles will be in Philly Green. Guarantee it. I think. Uh, I think if if they're picking there, I think you're right. I, I wouldn't even if they pick both picks, I could see them taking both guys. Mm. <laughs> I'm not That's gonna it. lie to you. <laughs> but I also got a feeling that Thibodeau is a guy to watch out for. Mm. I, I just got this weird feeling. Like like this this team is gonna want to make a splash. I, I really think the Eagles are gonna trade the 19th pick out of the first round. You what if you trade two, both picks? What if you trade like 16 and 19? And acquire two firsts for next year and two seconds. So you have three seconds this year, two, three first rounds next year. I mean, there's a lot that they could do, you know? Yeah, flexibility. Yeah, Radiation Bots, man. Thank you for Super Chase. What's up, fellas? Missed the last two shakes downs. What's good? What's good? Come on, man. We're, we're, we're just trying to figure this whole thing out, man. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, and more so me, I, I just... I just feel like there's got to be some, another shoe to drop. Like, I feel like there's got to be that, you know, I, you know, okay, I got gotcha you moment where it's like, hey, we know, uh, we, we now know what the Eagles were doing here. Like, I'm, I, I think that's got to be coming somewhere, in, in my opinion, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Tito, thank for Super Chat. He says, what's your mock draft for rounds one, two, and three? Um, for Eagles only? Uh, I'll say the Eagles, I think, in the first round, just off the top of my head, I agree with Joey. I think they're going to go probably defensive tackle. And then I think um, the other pick will be either an offensive lineman or a wide receiver. And the third pick, the, they will not draft. That's what I would say. Mm. Yeah. You know? I'd say in the second round, maybe get maybe corner or safety. I don't know. I just mean, depends. like, look, I, I'm looking at the two Christians in the second round. There's Christian Harris, the linebacker, yeah. and then Watson, the uh, the receiver. Receiver. North, I mean, to me, it's not a bad it's not a bad deal to get mm -hmm. an extra if you get extra second round pick. And if I don't take a defensive end, I'm going. I will if I get two second round picks, I'm taking Ojabo with my second second. Mm. I'll I'll do it early. You know, five hundred. Would you Thibodeau and Davis? Absolutely. If they were both on the board at 15, 16, mm. it's done. Takeem, my man, what's going on? He says, Andre Dillard can only play left tackle spot. That's right. That's very true. He's no swing tackle or guard. Gardner Minshew is a 500 quarterback at best. Isaac Sayamalu can replace, be replaced by Driscoll, right guard with Dicker. I, I, I don't disagree with any of that. The only thing I'll say about, like, if, if we're talking about trading Gardner, uh, he's so cheap as a backup. I, I don't know that they would do it, you know. Yeah, I don't know either. They might keep they might keep him for early security for this year. I don't know. It's yeah. cheap. I don't. I mean, if you're offered like a second round pick, maybe I'd give him up. Maybe like that would be like if they offer a second round, then I'll pull the trigger on it. Yeah. Well, Chris brings up an, an interesting name. What What are your thoughts with Stingley? Like I've seen him go top twelve. I've seen him go late first. Like I have no see. I have no idea where a lot of these guys are even going, dude. Stingley's a big what if because he hasn't really produced since his freshman year. And I think the LSU pro day, I think I think it's April 6th or April 8th, one of those two dates. We're going to see a little bit more Stingley. But I mean, I watched Brian Baldy that said they, 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 they he thinks he's going to go top 15 in this draft. Thinking that they, and they've had the Eagles picking him up with one of those picks. So yeah. I, I don't know. Like he's a big what if to me. Like I'd go after a Kyer Alam from Florida, which I if you can't get if you can't get sauce, if he doesn't move down move down or you can't or if you're not moving up to the top ten, Kyer Alam is has shut down a lot of receivers. Um very physical in your face cornerback. I'm one of my favorites uh, in the draft. So yeah, yeah. Uh HT a member for 13 months of Dingbat mm. Nation. I'm sorry I did not see that on the StreamYard chat. Um, really? but appreciate your support, man. Thank you. He said, HT in the house. Let's go get a big wide receiver. See, HT is, is with me. He, he is on the gotta get DK Metcalf. Gotta get DK Metcalf. That I'm with you, man. Uh, Eagles game. I don't know. Is it just me? Or I feel like 
feeling pretty good about this draft for the Eagles. How do you feel gen- in general going into this draft? I, I don't know. I'm leaning. I'm leaning towards that they're going to keep Jalen Hurts this year and not draft a quarterback. I, just a little bit. I'm on that mm-hmm. edge a little bit. That 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 Jalen Hurts is going to be the guy this year that I don't have to worry about them drafting a quarterback. I I feel pretty good because even at 15, 16, I think it's almost impossible to screw it up. I mean, it's it's literally impossible. So I I, I feel yeah, okay. I'm feeling pretty good about it though. I I still think there's a chance of quarterback. I, I yeah. I'm more leaning towards that. I think they're. They're going after a quarterback next year. Like, I, I feel like that they've already made their mind up. Like, that's why they haven't done anything for Hurts yet. Unless they, they do something to help them. And then I'll, I'll drastically think differently, you know. And, and there's a lot of time, too. Uh, Takeem says, and Gardner Minshew is a 500 quarterback at best. If he's a team's full season starter, Gardner can win you four games as a backup. If need be, but Minshew can't win double digit. I agree. I, I don't think he's a franchise quarterback. Um, but you know the Eagles, how they value backup quarterbacks. Like hmm. they they just do. I mean, I would trade Minshew for a third, for a third round pick. You know? Yeah, I would do it. I don't know what the hell that means. Fastest dump in recorded history. Uh you had it? Like what? Like how, what what do you think it is? Like three seconds? I don't know. But what the but hell does, does that the, even mean? I don't know. I'm thinking he's talking about going like somebody taking a dump, but does wiping count like in that whole process? Because then it might be five, six seconds. Oh, look at Westy Rock in here. How are you losers tonight? Man, your Dallas Cowboys are tanking, dude. They stink. They're taking that They're step back. They're definitely worse. They're taking that step this back. Is, back and this, this is year. another this is another Damn. issue. If Dallas is taking a step back. The division's even more up for grabs. Where's the help for Hurts? That's what I keep at. Nobody can answer me this question. Where's the help for Hurts? All I get is, well, they're going to draft somebody, but you don't know how a rookie receiver is going to be in the first round. You don't know how much playing time, especially when how he's drafting the receiver. Yeah. Christopher says, Philly 500. How come no one talks about the kid Dotson from Penn State? That's crazy good wide receiver. Diehard Eagle fans. Yeah, you know, that's a great point. Nobody's talking about it. Everybody's sleeping on that kid Dotson. I think he's a, a, a very talented kid. I think he's a second or third round receiver. It's another reason why I think you can get a receiver in the second or third round. You know? Yeah, but uh, but I'm saying this: Do we need someone that's a pure vertical threat? That's what I'm saying. Like, is that the type of receiver they should really have right now? Complimenting Devontae Smith, or they should get somebody like Christian Watson in that realm in the second round. I mean, that if you, has bigger if you size. could get a if you could get a big physical guy, I, I think that would be good. But I got to tell you, I've been watching film on on some of these Ohio State wide receivers. They're good. Uh, this Wilson, Garrett Wilson. That Remember, I told you. Would... Remember, I told you. I said, yeah. watch it, dude. Dude, dude no I joke. think I would take him. I'm telling you, like I, I I'm if I go receiver in the first round. I might go him because I I think he's going to be a stud, dude. You're going you do you like Olave or no? I like Olave, but I like Wilson better. I I, I do. I think Wilson's more of a complete receiver. Mm-hmm. That's just my opinion, though. You know. Hey. You know, here's John Doe. There he is. He says with the third overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Kenny Pickett out of the University of Pittsburgh, and Philly 500 is losing his mind. I will go ape shit because that means we traded up for Kenny Pickett. I, Kenny, I got small hands. Pickett, uh, I don't. Howie, wanna... Howie, don't pick it, please. Yeah, yeah. Howie, don't pick it. Pick it. <laughs> That's so stupid. Biner says Wilson could be insane. I, I, I'm liking Wilson, dude. I, I do. Um, more than Burks. Well, the thing with Burks is I wonder if Burks fits more. I kind of, from an overall, yeah. But I wonder if Burks would be more of a fit because of his size. You know, mm-hmm. and, he, and I think he has speed. I know he didn't run the fastest 40, but I still think that his game tape looks a lot. He looks a lot faster, you know? Yeah. Agreed. It's, it's going to be interesting, man. I, I really don't know how this, this draft is going to turn out. I have no clue. Because I see so many different scenarios, like so many different mock drafts that are completely different from the other ones. Like, 
I don't know. It seems like there's maybe not as much top end talent, but there may be more overall depth in talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But there's not that big of a drop off. That's why I think you can get up in this top ten if you really want to, because mm-hmm. a lot of teams more are going to want to trade back. Olave is nice. If the Eagles pass on him, I could see the Patriots drafting him for Mac Jones. Oh, I, I definitely can too. You know. It's going to be interesting. Uh, show enough says, I think how he goes after a bigger, more physical wide receiver in a draft. What about the, the Canadian rapper, Drake London? What do you think about him? That's what his name reminds me. There's a me. lot of fans that think he's the first receiver taken. Like, I, look, I, I'm not into a, pos- a possession guy. I mean, he's a big receiver. Does he have good speed? Yeah. Elite speed? No. But I'm, I'm just, I've never been into Drake London. Like, as early as 15, 16. I don't think he goes that early. I don't think I think it's a yeah. What's the name of his album? Uh, I can't run or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, but he, you know, I just when I hear his name, I think of Canadian rapper. I, I, I he's all right. I, I guess I, he's not my favorite receiver in this draft. But I mean, there's people got him in the top ten. In the top ten, this draft. No way. These drafts make no sense to me. You know, HT, thank you for super chat. He says, only way we can compete, complete this all season is to get a wide receiver. And yes, a vertical is the way to go. This draft, and then draft, this draft, the defensive end, defensive tackle, corner, and strong safety. Everything else, wide receiver center. Um, I see, I think, I think, uh, Tyler Lindenbaum could be a guy that they, they definitely draft. And you know? first- yeah, and Richie makes a great point. USC wide receivers scare the hell out of me, dude. Nelson Aguilar. Yeah. Westy Rock says, how's Wentz? You're going to find out because I think he's going to rip Dallas a new one. Look, the people are sleeping on Washington. I'm going to just say it. I think that this guy, if if he plays up to what he we think he can play, that Washington could be scary, dude. They can. Yeah, I agree. I like it's as bad as everyone like the as everybody wants Wentz to fail so bad. Like I think I think he's in a better offense than he was. I mean, you got I mean you got you got Curtis. Yes, yeah, so you got Samuel coming back. You got you got a number two, number one receiver in McLaurin. They got two really good running backs. Offensive line is great. I think it's a good spot for him to be honest. It's a huge yeah. upgrade for them. Yeah. Corey Taylor says, "Don't be surprised when the Eagles take Jordan Davis, then trade the 16th." For first next year, and then take Daxton Hill safety. Mm. He's one of the next guys I'm going to do a uh, reaction on uh, because I get a lot of requests for him. Um, listen, if the Eagles take Jordan, as soon as the Eagles draft Jordan Davis, to me, it's a it's a successful first round. True that. In, in my, you know, would it? Would it Drake London run at the forty? Do you remember? He didn't run it. He didn't run it. He didn't oh, do let's 40. see his forty time. Because I'll tell you what, I'm not interested in in big physical receivers that are slow. Like, like I think the league has gotten away from that, where you have that one big possession guy and the one fast guy. I think they both have to be fast in today's league. Look yeah. at every team that was in in the in the you know conference finals. They all had fast receivers. The only really guy was was T. Higgins. T. Higgins is a lot runs a lot better than his forty time ever showed. True. But I mean, you have to have speed more than anything to me in, in today's football. You can be a physical receiver and not be six foot four. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I, I need to see Drake London. Uh I need to see his 40 times. And 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 Sean says, uh, Drake London elite, y'all tripping. You might be right. I mean, I, you might be right. Well, well, but but to me, speed matters in, in today's NFL. You have to have it. And I'm trying to catch up to these. We got 400 people in the chat. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it so much. Appreciate it. Stacy says, uh, and thank you for Super Chat. We picked up a defensive end, a linebacker, and a wide receiver. Everything points to us taking a quarterback and a defensive end in round one. My second thought is corner and defensive end. Quarterback is is hard for me to deal with. Like, I don't want any of these quarterbacks. Um, but it, it's it's hard for me to say they're even taking a defensive end in the first round after Ojabo getting hurt and then signing Derek Barnett. So I feel like I I feel like I feel like yeah I feel like I, I definitely could see defensive end. 
Um, wide receiver though, like they, yeah, they signed Pascal, but I don't, I don't feel that's a sig- such a significant signing that we can take wide receiver off the board. You know what I mean? Oh, they better not. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Oh my god, I know. I love weed because I'm high. Can I be a my? Yes, you can. Just because you're high. Yes. Although I, I, I don't get high. I don't do that. That's not my thing. Let's see. Yeah, Rock the Artist shout to you. Says wide receiver draft is deep. Yeah, I mean it is. It's very very deep. Um, and that's why I think I look at the second round and I'm thinking, man, there are some guys that 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 are going to be nice. Watson, I think even Pickens from Georgia. Oh, I yeah, like, he's a beast. I like him, dude. I kind of like him. And 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 my whole thing with him, and I said this was, I want to see what he ran. And he ran really good. And and to me, it matches up with his tape. I, I think he could be a, a like a, a sneaky sign, like mm. draft pick, you know? I wouldn't mind him in the second round at all, you know? Let me see. I want to make sure I don't have any, I didn't miss any uh, channel membership chats. I keep it's hard they don't I don't know why they don't do that you know what I mean Yeah I don't it's yeah it's crazy really But you know dude I'm telling you this draft could go any way If I had a guess if I had to put money on it I'm not I'm not a predictor of anything I'm not Nostradamus or anything like that I just give my opinion I believe that draft night the Eagles are going to trade for a veteran wide receiver that's going to be a significant upgrade or before the draft. I believe it's going to happen. I do not believe we are going into this draft this season with a rookie wide receiver and what we have. It makes no sense. <laughs> they gotta make you don't think? move. I know, I know, no, 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 no I agree. No, I agree. I'm just I'm just saying, like, I don't know how they could just act like I don't know what they're thinking. So I don't know how they go into this acting like they're not, they're not. I mean, look, I mean, I think, I think, can they do it actually on draft night and go for a veteran, do it, put, put teams on pressure that night? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean, key bad, Sean, key babes. I, I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. Dude. Sean kebabs. Sean yeah, kebabs. Sean kebabs. Sean kebabs. Boom. He says, go watch the tape. He's a sub four, five, four, four. Had over a thousand yards and set only seven games. Uh, he's up there with Jamison Williams and Garrett Wilson. I'll, I'm going to go spend some time on him. I'm going to go spend some time on him. Who Pickens um, or or Drake uh, London? He's talking about Drake, the, the Canadian rapper Drake London. Uh, um, I, I'll go. I'll go watch him. I, I haven't watched a ton of him, only a little bit, but that's fair. I'll go watch him and I'll, I'll let you know what I think. Now, let me ask you: Jamis Williams is on the board. Jamison Williams on the board and Garrett Wilson. Who are you going to take? Oh, I'm picking Garrett Wilson all the way. I'm picking Garrett. I'm picking Garrett Wilson just just because I think he shows a lot more on tape. And look, I, Garrett. Get, and look, Jameson Williams is like a top three receiver on my draft board just because. I mean, uh-huh. so obviously getting hurt, you know, ACL should be running by the draft and should be ready by training camp as of right now. But it's it's really tough. It's it's tough between them two. It's tough. I would like either or, but Garrett Wilson would probably be my guy. Yeah, that. Uh... That's that's tough because I think Jameis will. I think he could be the best receiver in this draft. Dude. Yeah, but that injury you know? scares me. I mean, the injury is just an injury, and if he, know, he's promising so he's ready fun. by training camp, I don't know. Yep. Jason Pirro, welcome to Dingbat Superfans, man. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, it's going to be a busy month. A lot of Philly reacts going to be going over there because um, I can't keep up with these things. Um, so you'll see a lot of that, a lot of content coming out for channel members this month with the draft. And look for a ch- channel member live stream this week. Uh, but but thank you for joining, man. Appreciate it. And if you guys haven't, make sure you click the link in the description. Go sub up, my man Joey Shakes. Sit right here, pulling out the 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 content with the live streams. I would man, I wish I could do those with, with you. That would be fun. The only oh, time yeah. I joined, they signed Derek Barnett. What a <laughs> Yeah. You're a bad luck charm, apparently. So never again. No. Not in the draft, though. In the draft, you know. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Draft, we're doing okay. You know, Christopher says hurts getting help. They spending money on Tom House since he worked with Tom Brady and arm strength is crazy and accurate, impeccable. Hurts is going to be crazy this year. Worst case, Watkins balls. See, I, I, I just, I just wonder, like, if, 
if you're if you and what I'm saying is is if this is this and let me because I always I always say this Joey and people take it like that I'm hating Hurts I don't hate Hurts I want Hurts to, to have every fair opportunity but I feel like that they're not giving him a fair shake that's what I you know what I mean this is the shakedown we want fair shapes I want him to have every opportunity right and you know so to me. I I just wonder with the guy going into a, a, a essentially could be an extension year. Mm. Um, where where's the help on offense going to be right away, so that he can come out and be better right away? That's that's what I need to see. And I think the the good thing about this is I didn't think after this ankle surgery he'd already be like I didn't think he'd be working with quarterback gurus right now and be throwing and doing all that. We kind of, I thought this was going to be a long process till OTAs. So I'm glad that he's there and he's doing this thing and working on his anticipation on these throws and, you know, working on his arm and it's a good thing. So I'm glad yeah. it's, I yeah. want him to work out. So I really yeah. do. I, I just want, I just want him to get help. Uh, you know, I, I do. And born again. Yeah. Alec Pierce is on, is on one of my short lists. Um, definitely. Let's see. John Doe is Mr. Kenny Pickett here. Stats for the first 19 starts on Minshew and Hurts. Minshew, 4,740 passing yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 62% completion. Hurts, 4,063 yards, of 21 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 57% completion. Minshew, six-round pick. Hurts, a second-rounder. Yeah, but Hurts, I mean, but, but Minshew, I mean, we already kind of know he's more advanced. He is. Uh, you know, more time under his now, belt. Now, let's... Now add in the running yards. Yeah, you have to add that in too. And then and then tell me what the totals are. That that would I, that I would be interested in that. But you got to add the running yards because running is a big part of his game. You you can't overlook that. Right. You know, Paul Mancini, my man. He says um, Garrett Wilson's very similar to Devontae Smith, but is a little bigger and works well in the middle of the field more than Devontae Smith will. But will make their living working outside in numbers. And so, like, so, Paul, would you would you like would you consider that according to your opinion? Would you like a guy like Garrett Wilson? Mm. That's what I want to know. Williams is going to f around drop to you know who? Oh, to Dallas probably, probably. I, I mean, a vet wide receiver is cool. Like, if there's there was a vet that wasn't too old and could help bring younger guys along for a reasonable price, then sure. But I just want more talent at receiver. Period. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get it, you know. Um, listen, if, if Hertz had four years left on his contract, five years left on his contract, I would say, okay, fine. They believe in him. They're backing him up, and that's cool. But when he's going into essentially uh, he could be extended after this year. Now, remember, if they don't extend Jalen Hurts and he plays out his contract, then they have to either let him go or sign him. And if they can't sign him to extension, have to franchise him, they're paying him as a what top three quarterback. That's not going to happen. Mm. So they have to make the proper evaluation on him after this year. So to me, how do you do that when you don't improve the offense around them? That's where I keep coming back to. So I feel like you got to add some veteran. And then to me, why not add a veteran that is going to be a long in the long term plans, a part of this rebuild as well? DK Metcalf. $25 million, $30 million, who cares? In two, three years, those receivers are going to be making $40 and $45 million. Yep. You're going to have to pay one way or the other. There is no in-between is how I see it. Yeah, agreed. No, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. Uh, Red Eagle, man, thank you for Super Chat. He says, most of the best NFL players are not top draft picks. I'm about trading back for more ones next year. Alex Pierce would be perfect for us. I'm totally okay with it. Here's the one problem with with this, and I'm I sound like Mr. Negative, but Howie Roseman's picking that always is a, a big problem. You got to have guys that pick the right players, and his track record isn't great. I don't you know want to I mean? trust him going into the second round. I'm like I'm I'm putting at least somewhat good. I'm getting ready for a good first round draft. It's it's hard to be for the season to draft a good person in the second right. round. Right, right, right. Uh, Christopher says with the Philadelphia Eagles 16th pick at wide receiver, they select Philly five, the the slowest 40 time in the history. You know, oh shed time, man. 
Man, thank you so much for the super chat, man. That's you, man. very, very kind of you, man. We really, really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, he says, as I was taking a hit off my pipe, the Cowboys are over the cap because of Jerry Jones' paternity suit. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? He's impregnating chicken coops or something. Did you hear about this whole thing with him? With the girl that said that was his, that was his daughter or something? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah man. The evil, the, the, the evil emperor is, is at it again. Uh, shed time, man. We, we really appreciate the super chat, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. Uh, means a lot to us. Sean Kebabs, thank you for super chat. He says, if you're still pitching Minshew to start, you should just watch uh, competitive badminton. <laughs> 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 no, I definitely don't. We definitely don't want him to start. I, I don't know. You know, I mean, I what I what I want to do is I want to see, I want to see, uh, I want to see somebody come in that we can say, hey, this is an upgrade around Hertz. We're going to we're going to see what Hertz is about this year. There's no there's no if answer, but because what what if we go in we we draft let's say we draft uh I don't know Garrett Wilson or receiver in the first round. You go in, he doesn't play a lot. He doesn't contribute a lot, and we basically get a lot of what we got last year. Okay, let's say Devontae Smith increases slightly, but everybody else is really not much better. All people are going to say is, is it Hurts or is it that he has no weapons? And it's going to be a big debate. I rather I rather know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. What's the difference between John Hightower and Chris Olave? Uh, Hightower, Hightower. I mean, he's a he's a practice squad guy, you know. Yeah, a lot of it's just okay. Better. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Marianne Johnson, wait, wait, what? You all see Sirianni and Howie got in an argument because Howie resigned Barnett? No, -uh. no, I think that, I don't. Somebody put that on Twitter. I don't even think is that, that was true? true. I don't think so. Or is that no. April Fools? I, I think that would be the greatest thing ever. I would have more respect for Nick Sirianni if that happened. You know, I, I really would. You know, I, I, you know, let me let me show you guys what I would do if if that was true. This would be me. Hi, Michael Anthony, fitness hit M A F. That's that would be me. Sorry. That is actually true. That was the first video I ever saw him do a workout routine. And I'm like, oh, he's doing arms. Then I went in. And and he's laying down. It's hilarious. <laughs> that that would be me if if I knew. If I knew that Nick Sirianni really was mad at, at Howie. I can't see it though, you know? Yeah, me neither. Just crazy. All the good I, things I, that Nick said about about Derek Barnett, high IQ. <laughs> Derek Barnett has a high IQ. It's so nice to work with the G, a Super Bowl winning GM and Howie Roseman. <laughs> you gotta laugh. It's at this crazy, stuff. dude. It's dude. it's crazy to me. It's I, you know I keep thinking about. Remember last year during the draft that where they did the room inside the room with uh. With with the Eagles after they took the fist uh, bump. Whoops. Yep. Oh my God, dude. Did that not tell say it all? <laughs> it did. Man. Oh. Anthony says Mark Holmes mod is Michael Anthony Fitness girlfriend. What? Chick is crazy in today's videos. Is she's in his videos now? I wouldn't be putting her in there, my girlfriend in there. You know? 
It'd be crazy. I take Alan Pierce of Cincinnati over uh, Christian Watson, North Dakota State, every day of the week. I'm gonna have to go. I haven't looked at Pierce at all. Have Have you? No, I have not. I I gotta I gotta check it out. You know. See, John Doe, Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, Miles Center, Dallas Scott are playmakers. Jordan Mulata, Landon Dickerson, Jason Kelsey, Nate Herbig, Lane Johnson, top offensive line league. The problem is that quarterback. Well, I mean, listen, you have Quez Watkins was going his second year. He was kind of young, and they didn't really use him enough. Uh, Miles was hurt how much last year? <laughs> Devontae Smith, rookie, and they didn't treat him right. They didn't use mm. him right. And then Dallas Goddard, I thought, played pretty good. But, I mean, I, I know that sounds like a lot, and maybe in three, four years it is. But right now, you, you're still missing. You still need somebody else, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Mr. Her- Headcase says, Hurts is garbage. Get him out of here. Well, I mean, that's what I want to find out. And the only way to find out is is they're going to have to put somebody around him, in my opinion. Chris Scott says, hey, Shake Squad. Could we draft Floyd as an edge rusher and Wyatt? Trade 19th pick up and pick up another second and a first in 2023. What are your thoughts on that one? The trade in the 19th, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I just, if they get – I would. I really want another pick for this year, but if they if they get a first and a second for 23, I'm totally fine with it. I mean, why – I mean, that, that wouldn't be a bad thing, how they kind of like to have the Cowboys use – um, the you know uh, Micah Parsons, you know if they use Devin Lloyd the same way, that'd be awesome. But Wyatt is great too because like Jordan Davis is the juicy pick at defensive tackle. But I think with Wyatt, you can move him from defensive tackle to defensive end. You can move him all over the place. So I like that. I really do like it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on? And I haven't really still haven't watched him as Carlifides or however you say Carlaftis. Yeah. What do you think of him? I'm not really big. I like, even even with his combine, I thought he was real stiff. I mean, his bull rush is pretty good, but. I, I really don't know. He's probably my last on the line when it comes to a first round defensive end right now. When it comes to the first yeah. round, he's like the last on my list. So I don't know. I don't really yeah. know too much. Nate Gary is in the house. What is happening, my man? Hey. Uh, Philly Fan D says, ain't going to lie. Malik Willis intrigues me. Well, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. Malik Willis intrigues the hell out of me, too, because he's so talented. Like, he can throw, he can run. He reminds me of a a right-handed Michael Vick. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, I I don't know. Some it, people are saying he's going to go to Detroit now. Do you do you think Malik Willis has the higher ceiling than Kenny Pickett? Do you think he has the higher ceiling? Or who's I the guy? Know. Yeah, you don't, you don't really know. I, I mean, I, I just haven't studied enough Kenny yeah. Pickett and him to, to say. Uh, but just from just what I've seen him do on the field, like he pops more than me. Then, but Pickett, I mean, Pickett may have all the Pickett's problem. Only problem may be short hands or small hands. Who knows? You know, just don't make the Pickett. Small, you know, yeah, I don't know. John does says, "Why didn't we use Quest?" John, this is something that man, me and Joey oh. talked about. A, I mean, we talked about this. How much did we talk about this every week? Why isn't Quest getting more reps? Why is it always regular, regular, regular? I think this is where Howie interferes. See. He does not like giving up on first round picks. This is why Derek Barnett is back, man. You know, there's no reason for it, you know? Yeah. Will says, Do you see the Eagles trading up to second pick, then trading back to the eighth? I don't see them trading up to two and then back to eighth. I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to just go up to, to eight? From yeah. like fifty, like why go to two? Because because see, I think that I think the value in, this year isn't trading back or, or you know isn't trading up. Like it's going to cost you a lot less to get up this year in the draft than in normal years. So that's why you see more of these teams are like willing to trade back right now. That's like, because the of the thing, that's because of the quarterback class this year. I think because of quarterbacks, and I think because a lot of the talent is spread out deep into the draft as where you don't have as much top end talent, which, you know, the top end talent is significantly better than everybody else. Mm. I mean, you got draft picks where you have, you have, uh, you know, you have Jordan Davis, a seven, eight, 15, 16, 19. You have, um, even I've seen things where they have a my Gardner 16 and you know, my Gardner four, like it, it's all over the place. Yeah. So I think, I think that teams, 
at the top end of the draft are going to try to move back. So I don't think it's going to cost as much as it normally would to move up because most of those teams want to move up. I mean, the whole thing with Detroit trying to get Malik Willis right now, a week before that, they were saying Detroit was trying to trade out. Well, now they could be showing interest in Willis to try to drive people to want to trade back. You know what I mean? Right, right. Uh, Sean Kebab, thank you for Super Chase. Malik Willis is short. Jalen Hurts from Liberty. Yeah, but he's he, I, I think he's got a bigger arm. And I think he's a faster runner, you know? Yeah. Yep. Samuel says, would you take Willis? I probably wouldn't. Not in the first round, but I would be intrigued by it, though. I'm not I am not going to lie to you about that. I would be intrigued by yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, O'Brien says, two wide receivers, 15 and 16, Willis and Olave. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I just we can't. I just don't see how we can spend all these top first round picks on receivers every year. If they don't trade for a veteran receiver right now, they are definitely going to grab one in the first round. I they they could yep. they could. Pure Pfizer's. I'm calling it. They're going to take Carlifidus. I'll be here on draft day. That is something I totally would not be shocked at, and I'll probably be pissed at. I mean, I better go. I better go watch them. Because I don't want to say things that I'm, I don't mean later or I'm wrong. They're, about, they're either going to reach for a player that shouldn't be reached that high or they're going to grab some, someone off of injury, whether it's Jameson Williams I, or it's or it's uh, Derek a, Stingley. I'm getting a feeling they're going to go after Thibodeau on draft day. That, I, just, I just got this weird feeling. The same feeling I had when I said they're going to go after Hassan Reddick. People forget I said that um, two days before. I said I had a feeling – uh, Mike, thank you for the super chat. He says, "Do you think Wentz is actually going to play enough, a uh, good enough to to annoy us and win the division?" Well, I mean, Carson had twenty seven touchdowns last year, seven interceptions. I think if 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 he can, the good Carson can play more consistent that we saw with the Colts. If that Carson is more consistent this year, I think Washington's scary because yeah. they got a good team, you know. So we'll see. Uh, KJ Smith, thank you so much for Super Chat. My man, Nate Gary's here. Nate Gary is better than Lawrence Taylor. You're crazy. You're def- this, That's definitely Nate Gary, dude. Only Nate <laughs> Gary would think Nate Gary's better than Lawrence Taylor. Uh, Stacy says, watch Howell, fellas, all three years. What do you think about Howell? You, you have any comments on any of those quarterbacks yeah, i really don't have much on how right now on how i don't have much on him all right i'm gonna address this i don't because i don't think there's any chance in the world this happens but i do keep having people dming me and talking about the eagles going after baker mayfield i see baker mayfield as another carson wentz type issue quarterback i don't see the eagles doing that but what do you think because uh said he says our the Eagles a better team with Baker Mayfield as their quarterback? That's an interesting question because because they may be for the time being in in a in a, a pass he's a better, in a passing it, offense, right? But he's emotional, very very emotional. He's not he doesn't have Jalen Hurts mentality. No, he doesn't have all the intangibles that Jalen Hurts has. But he's 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 a more advanced passer. I can't see any way the Eagles go for Baker Mayfield, which means they'll probably go for Baker Mayfield. But I heard that I think Cleveland's looking for a second round pick for him. So that's not much, dude. You think that's too much though for him? For Baker? Yeah. No, I think that's fair. Yeah, if I was if I if I was interested in that see, yeah, theoretically, I, I mean, do you think they're just gonna release him because teams are kind of just waiting now for him to be released? I mean, they're probably Possibly. just gonna release him. Possibly. So possibly. that's what I would do. Yeah. So. Possibly. Yeah, they could. Shed time, man. Oh, you're too generous, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, "Here's a donation for Joey." No, don't, don't worry. We 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 take care of each other. Pause. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Really bad. <laughs> <big forward. laughs> I can't, I can't do that. I just. You know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, our, our dude, our brains are gonna be so fried. Like during the draft, oh. like we're just gonna lose oh, it. Man. Like this is what's gonna happen. We take care oh. of each other. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that sounds so bad. You know that's going to be clipped and used everywhere against me. It's going to be used against us. Oh, God. That's bad. I, that, I tried to pause, but I was laughing too hard. Take care of each other. K. Smith. KJ Smith. Thank you for Super Chat. Mr. Nate Gary he says, who do you hate more? Gary, Barnett, Rager, or J. Joel? Bar- <laughs> I- I'm actually going to go Barnett one. Hmm. Rager two. Gary three. And J. Joel four. Uh, I'll go J. Joel three. Four. You know, and because Nate Gary... I, he, he only could do so much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he did something at least. But he actually did something in some games. Right, so. right. Damn, that's a bad pause. Swaggy, they were super chat, my man. He says, get A.J. Brown if possible and see what Hurts can do. That's that's where I'm at, man. That's where I'm at. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Sorry, man. They're going to kill us on this one. We're, we're done, dude. Oh, don't let Mark Holmes get a hold of that clip. Oh, I know. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, man. Eagles King, I love the thumbnail. Uh, David Superchase says, guys, we should get McBalls out of Alabama. i never seen McBalls. <laughs> Pause again. <laughs> oh, man. I remember Nate Allen. Yeah. Oof. I remember Nate Allen. Nate, I used to call him Nate, late Nate Allen. That, that. That's what he was, you know. It's crazy. Anyways, I mean, we're we're over an hour. We've embarrassed ourselves. <laughs> on this, you embarrassed on yourself. This. I sat here. You said it. Yeah, but but I was talking about taking care of you. <laughs> you know, it's going to be long days in the draft when we start seeing Doctor Peppy show up. Oh, you know, we lost. You it. know, we lost it last year. It's going to be crazy, you know. Mm. Five hundred, Joey. You all going to go to Link when Carson comes to town? It de- it really would depend. For me, it, it always depends on the scheduling because there's always a chance um, that I could be there around the Thanksgiving or Christmas. So if it works out for one of those times, I uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a game I definitely yeah. want to go to, especially, I mean, that the opener be, definitely, but I want to go that to that should game. be week one in Philly, Monday Night Football. That really Hell should, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, Sean says, Ojabo in the second round and a wide receiver quarterback at first. Well, my, my plan is that Ojabo should be in play. Initially, I was like, no, but I think he should be in play because I'm assuming you're going to have two second-round picks. Mm. So I want to take him with one of my, my with my second second. Oh, I hated Sean Considine, dude. I could not stand him. You know, and 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 just for the record, because people say this all the time, well, he might, he might be a nice guy. When I say I don't like a player, it ain't, it isn't personal, unless it's right. Jason Babin. It's not because of the personality or anything like that. They could be the nicest person in the world. Nelson Aguilar could be the nicest, sweetest guy in the world. But I when I, I'm talking strictly from football. Everyone wants to trade back due to the value of the pick. Selecting Hutchinson in, at one or two is not much different than selecting. See, that's what I'm saying, Walker. Uh, that's what I'm saying exactly, Paul. That's why three first-round picks, if the Eagles, like, if they really like Thibodeau, let's say, they could go up uh, and get him or a, a Sauce Gardner or whoever. They have the power, and they're going to be teams looking to trade back, which does scare me in one respect. If – Teams are tr- able to move for not that much. How are the Eagles going to get that first round pick next year? Mm. You know, that's that's the one thing you got to worry about. You know, I was uh, I wasn't a Tim Hawk fan. I was definitely not a Kurt Coleman fan. And I know he played better when he left, but didn't, didn't care for those guys. Leon Dave for super chat. He says, "What's up, Denzel Washington? What's happening?" What is going on, man? Thank you for being here. We're, we're reading some movie scripts. Some interesting things coming our way. No no question about it. Uh, Dalvin Cook's brother. I haven't watched him yet. Have you Have you taken a look at him yet? Mm-mm, a lot of people have been mentioning him lately. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen I him Yeah, I need yet. to go watch him because I do think the Eagles need a uh, a wide receiver. I mean, a running back in the mid-rounds. I'm sorry. I, I think they, they need a running back in, in the mid-rounds. No, Villanova lost today. They lost. Yeah, scared of how his talent value. Me too. Me, me too. 
Macho Harris. Oh, God, no. You know, but a guy like Macho, like a guy that's like a walk-on guy, it's hard to overhate. I hate the guys that you take that are supposed to be like their first-round picks, supposed to be franchise builders, and then they don't live up to it. You know what right. I mean? Those are the guys that bought, get on my nerves the most. You know, a 10-7 prob record probably wins the NFC East. NFC East is wide open. You know, and, and even that, you know, we're sitting here complaining about the Eagles need to do this or need to do that. I still think they could win a division with what they got right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a, a, a great division, you know. Philly Bean says, honest opinion, Miles Sanders, do we care if we move on? Um, I do care. I, I still believe in Miles Sanders. I still think he has it in him. He's just got to stay healthy. Um, I, I want to give him at least one more year. Now, I'm not overpaying for a running back. It's just not doing it in today's football. Mm -hmm. So he, he'd have. I would try to sign him, but I'm not giving him crazy money. But I think he's gonna have a good year, though. Hoping, I'm hoping he does. I mean, look, I mean, if if they increase this offensive line, it gets better and better. They might just be plugging yeah. guys in for the rest. Of, you know, we'll see. Yeah, Chris, Christopher says you think they would trade Sanders? I don't think they would trade. I mean, look, if you trade Miles Sanders, then how do you improve your? You're now making your offense worse, yeah. right? I mean, it, it's crazy. Eagles gangsters, I'm hoping Hurts has a breakout. Look, that's the best scenario for us is to him to have a breakout season, which is why I don't understand why we haven't done more for him. You know, uh, yeah, I was a big fan of Leonard Weaver. I I loved Leonard Weaver. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I could see the Eagles trading back from 19 to mid late 20s and selecting Sam Howard, Desmond Ritter to mm. Desmond Ritter intrigues me too. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, I could totally see something like. Listen, I I, I think, um, uh, Connor Barwin was great. No, you gotta love Connor oh, Barwin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eagles definitely can win the division. E George says it too. Eagles can win the division. The defense should be greatly upgraded after the draft. <coughs> Will Brandon Graham come back with Brandon Graham coming back in the addition of Hassan and Kazir White? And the possible, yeah, I think the defense has improved. I think they can win the division with the way they run the ball. I think it's possible. I think it's wide open. I think it's wide open for three teams: Washington, Philly, and Dallas. I think the Giants got no shot, you know. But but at the end of the day, like even if you win the division and get a home play, like how much does that really improve us? Like what? I still feel like we're not taking a full step to get better yet. You know? True. True. Edwards says, 3 a.m. In, in England, guys, uh, with my weak old son, Evan, you're helping with his sleepless nights. Please give him a shout-out. He's a massive Eagles fan and said he wants to be next Philly 5 hmm. Edward, man, first of all, congratulations on your son, man. Congratulations, man. Shout-out to you, and God bless you guys. And shout-out to Evan. Evan, awesome. when you get older and you're here, come collab with us, buddy. We're ready for you. But congratulations, awesome. my man. You know, Shane says 500. I've re heard that we might get Pickett. What does that mean for Hurts? If if they draft Pickett or any quarterback in the first round, it means that the writing's on the wall for Hurts. He may play one more year, and that's it. That's it. He's gone. You know, um, I'm not gonna sweat. I'm not gonna sweat the quarterbacks until they bring in a private vi visit. When they bring a quarterback exactly. for a private visit, then then I'm gonna worry about it. However, I still think quarterback could be in play but i definitely think it's within the next two years i mean but the, i mean there's no way that they're just going to draft a qb without even put bringing i mean is that going to give it away if they bring him in though could they, they do that even, when they drafted andre dillard they never no, even talked to him yeah i know he was That's... like they didn't even talk to me what if they totally just are are, are, are already made the decision that's crazy <sighs> You never know with the Eagles. Clark Roberts, what's going on, my Good man? This Philly shakedown. What's good? Nothing, man. We, we you know, we, we 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 hanging in there. We doing it. You up? Uh, you know. Let me make sure. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. Uh, I don't think you did. I've, I've been looking at. Any, I don't know. Yeah, I make sure I didn't miss any uh, child member chats. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think that's pretty much it for tonight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, not not much. Not uh, much else. We're, you know, it's it's draft time, and uh, I still think the Eagles. You know, they gotta have something. Oh, I think I missed one super chat. Leon David super chat says, "What's up, Denzel Washington? What's going on, my man? I'm not sure if I if I read that one earlier or not. So just in case, 
Um, uh, Leon, another super <laughs> chat says, hell no to baby hands. I, I agree with you, man. I, I totally agree with you. Freeman Luma, thank you for super chat. says, what if we try to trade for Jordan Love instead? Interesting. Would Green Bay really do that, though? I mean, how many years do they have? What's his face for? I forgot the new con. What was that new contract? How long was that contract? I think it was four or five years, but I don't expect him to play that whole thing. No, out. probably not. You know, it's probably just the way they set up the contract for the cap and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But uh, I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for joining. If you're new, please like, please subscribe. Make sure you click the link. So about my man Joey Shakes and Joey. Is there anything? Uh, anything you want to say before we we get out of here? I mean, we're already in the draft month already. We're getting there a few more weeks, guys, and we're going to find out how much Howie Vision is, has in stock for us for the draft to see what they're going to do to help their quarterback out in Jalen Hurts. I'm excited. It's exciting. Yeah. It's one of the most important offseasons for the Philadelphia Eagles for the future, hands down. It's, Can't wait. It's huge. Yeah. Shed time, man. Thank you for Super Chat, man. Thank you for all your Super Chats today for everybody, man. Thank you. He says, what are your predictions this year? It's too early. I need to see. I need to see the uh the the rest of free agency and and the draft I, i'll say this i think i think that there's three teams in play for the division one team not mm. and the, the eagles washington dallas all could win the division um i think the giants are done you know 3500 why don't we take bobby white or signing free agent well that that's what we're trying to figure out um uh, i don't know I, I i'm with you we're waiting especially offensively i'm waiting yeah. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Um, I'm sure Joey will be putting out a lot of stuff. I sure, I sure will. And, uh, with that, we're going to let Michael Anthony, where's the fitness as always take us out. Enjoy your night. God bless. Take care. Don't be a dingbat. Remember it's how we vision and we're all just living in it. Peace. Peace. Now time for one more play. We have one Yo, more. Yo, you got to be motherfucking kidding You got to be kidding me. We have no time for one more play. Look at this motherfucker what running. What are you doing? Running from what are you doing? Um, what was that bullshit? Man, that is not right. Oh, that's some bullshit. What was that? We have no time for one more play. We had an opportunity to win that game at the end. But the referee screwed us. The brother screwed us. I'm upset, but the brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Only Cowboys games. Yeah, you 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 literally screwed us. The brother screwed us.